There are two speculation pieces, both by Mike Florio, that I would like to react to as it pertains to the Vikings as we get closer and closer to the NFL draft. The first being Florio talking about the Vikings likely trying to trade up for a top five pick in order to secure their quarterback of the future. And that if the Vikings are specifically targeting pick number five, which is currently held by the LA chargers, he said, Mike Florio, do you really think Jim Harbaugh would want to do the Vikings any sort of favors after the Vikings spurned him for a head coach, the head coaching job in 2022? Absolutely not. And I understand the mode of thinking there by Mike Florio. If there's any character in the league outside looking in that you could guesstimate that would hold a grudge to that degree, even if it's to sacrifice the betterment of your team in the long run, someone that says you did me wrong, so I'm going to get my lick back. If there's anyone in the league that would do it, it's Jim Harbaugh. And as an aside, a little bit off topic here, it's not just up to Quasi Adolfo Mensa to get the quarterback position correct. It's also fair or unfair. KOC, now that Jim Harbaugh is in the league, I think it does put more pressure on Kevin O'Connell to be that guy that the Wolf Brothers believe in, that Quasi Adafo Mensa believes in. Because if, say, Harbaugh has success instantly over in Los Angeles, well, then that's the guy that you could have, he was in your building two years ago, that could have been your guy. So where it's like, oh man, if KOC is still trying to get his bearings in order in Minnesota, it's going to be one of those, oh man, is it buyer's remorse? But back on topic, if there's any individual to say, to want to get revenge, it is Jim Harbaugh. Thankfully, it doesn't matter because he's not responsible for roster decisions. That is up to the GM, Joe Hortiz, who was just hired back in January. The second piece of speculation that I'd like to react to by Mike Florio is him suggesting that there could be maybe a settlement on the Atlanta Falcons investigation before the draft as it relates to the Vikings because Kirk Cousins, maybe there's going to be a pick swap, 8 and 11 or 8 for 11. So instead of 11 and 23 for the Vikings to work with, they would have the 8th and 23rd overall picks in the first round. I reacted to this in, I want to say, within 24 hours of this happening in real time. Kirk Cousins got up on the podium during his intro press conference. And Falcons fans, you can be all up in arms all you want to, saying this is a nothing burger, not a big deal, nothing's going to happen. Don't be mad at the media. Don't be mad at Mike Florio. Don't be mad at the fact that an investigation is happening. Be mad at your quarterback. He told you, I talked with the head athletic trainer yesterday, which you weren't allowed to do. That is tampering. This dude had, he is the equivalent, Kirk Cousins, of an attorney's nightmare. You had the best of the best legal representation to where if you get pulled in by the cops after your Miranda rights are read to you, all you have to do is say, I don't want to talk. Give the most vanilla statements possible. We're here in Atlanta. We're happy to be here. We're going to compete for championships. And I believe this is the best possible spot for me to finish my career. Say absolutely nothing. Instead, yeah, oh my God, I talked to the head athletic trainer yesterday. In order for the Falcons to escape, something has to happen. Because I don't want to hear anything from the NFL. If you do nothing, I don't want to hear anything. And that's going to be just nothing but a celebration for the NFL Players Association if you do nothing and then decide to do something to another team as it relates to tampering. Oh, well, you didn't do anything to the Falcons. Why are you trying to do something right now? This man, Kirk Cousins, was he, he was Marv on Home Alone at the end of the movie. Hey, remember, where are the wet bandits? W-E-T. And Harry's like, shut up. All you had to do, Kirk, was just shut the hell up. The only way that the Falcons can be completely absolved 
of any sort of punishment whatsoever is that the Falcons have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Kirk Cousins has lost his mind. He said he talked to the athletic trainer. No, he didn't talk to the athletic trainer. He was talking to his car. This man is bonkers. He has no, yeah, trust me, I know. We are trusting this guy that has daily conversations with his automobile to lead us to win championships. I know, we're the fools here, right? That's the only way. He told you, gave you a full confession. Something has to happen, and I hope it does.